So, it's New Year's Eve. Me and Jenny Lee are going to a concert tonight to see Nako and Medicine for the People. That'll be exciting. I'm all geared up. My .5 athletic gear for um, the gym. Gonna hit a shoulder. Um, what is it? Shoulder and I think calf day. I think it's shoulder and calf day. Having some of that protein bread I showed you guys yesterday and a uh, little pre-workout snack and then I uh, got my coffee as my pre-workout energy and I got about 10 minutes to get all this down before I have to leave. <laughs> Make that nine minutes. I always have a cockatoo in the morning, right? Welcome to the workout part of my videos. I'm gonna start putting some videos with some workout sections in them pretty soon, uh, aka today, starting now. Not all of the videos will have workouts in them, but some of them will. Some will be shorter, some will be longer, some will be clips, some will be me talking over them, such as this one. So today was a shoulder day. This is the first movement, which was the dumbbell front raise. Just, uh, we do a warm-ups. We do, I think it was about two or three sets of warm-ups, 12 to 15 reps. And then we jumped on to the overhead press. I really am trying to build up some shoulders, broaden out that uh, V, make me a little broader on top. So working on the overhead press, trying to get those front delts really big and popping. So what we did up next is called a drop set. And that's pretty much when you load the bar with one of your max sets. So I think I could probably push this. I forget what exactly I pushed. We'll find out in a second. But... I think it was about probably three or four or five per every 10 pounds. I believe this is 45 on each side to start. So I really like to do these at the end of a movement, especially a big compound movement like the overhead press. And I've noticed wearing my belt has been really helpful, um, really stabilizing my core and helping me get push that weight through. When you, when you do drop sets, it's really nice because although it gets really tiring, you start off at the heaviest weight. So as they go, you know, as you go down through each set, you're, you know, get, it's getting a little easier, but it's still pretty killer. Uh, definitely gives you a nice pump and a nice burn. And just so you know, there's not too much time in between these sets. I'm really just dropping the weight uh, with my buddy Rob. He's helping me on one side and I'm dropping the weight on the other and then I'm just setting up and going right right for it. And then uh, up next after this movement, ah, those, there, those are grinders, that's for sure. Up next is the uh, seated Smith uh, behind the neck shoulder press. And um, I really like this one. You can't, can't, you know, at least I prefer not to use too much weight. I'd rather go for a higher rep, maybe 10 to 12, max 15 rep set. Uh, rep set. And, um, you know, again, just trying to build those boulders, you know, those boulder shoulders. So um, I like the Smith for that one too. It's it's nice because the movement, you could injure, injure yourself. So, And what you're looking at next is the bent side lateral with uh, cable. We do each side. It's really just... A great brings out the shoulders and the back, your rear delts. It's a really nice movement, um, just to get the all-round shoulders. You know, we went from the front, then we did behind, um, and now we did behind again. Now we're going back to the front. This is a seated uh, overhead press, which are just a nice finishing, big movement. Um, we do one more movement after this, but this is a nice finisher. You're tired, so you can't push as much as you could if it was your first movement because you've already done pressing, but it really, really feels good to, to push push with those sets. And then the last movement we do is, you know, they're like side, lateral, bent, raises, somethings. You know, we call them bottle spills. Um, really work some of that trap, again, some of that back, um, back of the shoulder. You know, when you work like your rear delts, you, they really help bring bring your the back of your, your shoulder looks look to the front so it's definitely a nice workout right, guys so just got back home from the gym this is what i usually have every day five grams of this five grams of that two scoops of optimum whey protein and i also got myself one of those protein bagels that i showed you guys so i think i mentioned that it's new year's eve and uh 
we're going to see Nako, Bear, and uh, Medicine for the People tonight, so I'm really excited about it. Um, going to have this little post-workout meal. Um, real quick, one major reason why I'm having a high-carb item directly after the gym. Um, you want to have a high-carb a high carb item after the gym it just kind of replenishes your glycogen which is glycogen is just a, a layman's term would just be the storage pretty much when you work out you use up all everything that you have in you and then you want to replenish it right away so that your body when you know when the muscles are starting to heal or a uh, better word maybe um, build okay when the muscles trying to build it's looking for food to eat so you want to immediately be able to have um, a carbohydrate and a, you know, you want to have protein directly after, right? But the carbohydrate will help the protein get to those muscles a little better, a little easier for your body. So um, it's a nice combination to have. So again, I'm just having my bagel and um, some protein. Uh, and yeah, and then probably in like an hour, I'll have lunch or something like that. But I'm really excited to go to the concert tonight. I'm going to bring you guys with me. It should be a blast. This is my beautiful orchid. I love her. I take very good care of her. She's got 14 blooms on her. This is her second bloom. And uh, I'm really not big into flowers or anything, but this is for sure my little, my baby girl right here. She's gonna have to get a bigger vase next time too. So pretty. <laughs> Alright, so I'm all dressed up, got on my 0.5cc I Am Enough shirt, um, and some pants that Jamie got me for my birth, what, my birthday? Not my birthday, Christmas, and some cool shoes, I'm trying not to get my toilet, uh, some sweet shoes, I'm into these, I've had them for years, but they're baller, so uh, I'm going to go see Nako and Medicine for the People. Super excited. I'm going to get some footage. I'll throw it in there. And um, it's a new year. Happy New Year. Um, 2015 has been like a phenomenal, amazing year and for me and the community. And everyone keeps saying like, oh man, I hope 2015 is better than 2016. And I'm just like, if 2015 is better than 2016, man, I don't know how like how 2017 is supposed to be in comparison to those two years, <laughs> you know? So I'm just feeling really blessed, really grateful to have had the year I have had. And, um, you know, it's all thanks to you guys. You know, you watch the channel, you support me, you share things on Facebook and Instagram and you like and, you know, you leave comments and it's really like been an amazing journey these last six years on YouTube and just like on social media and making friends and traveling and I can't like express my gratitude um, to you guys and just like the support I've gotten this year. I've never had this kind of support before and it's been really awesome especially especially like in the media in the spotlight being a trans man i mean it's been hard at times and i've always had my back cover because of you guys and i know that and i will never forget that believe me so thank you all and happy new year <laughs>
So guys, it's a beautiful day out. We just got breakfast. Um, and we're just taking a walk. Walking it out, enjoying the day. It's a sunny, beautiful day. Of course, it's freezing, um, but it's okay. We had a great New Year's, and um, I hope everybody also enjoyed their New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, and I uh, hope all your resolutions for the new year will be positive and uh, affirming to your authentic life that you're trying to live. Um, this year, I'm trying to take in some more confidence and self-worth, as well as uh, trying to let go of other people's opinions and feelings of me and my work and just know that my intention is positive and true and and that's really it you know keep providing some content that you guys want to see and hear and uh hope i can do that for you in 2016. otherwise i hope everyone had a great little holiday night um and uh hope all your dreams come true guys all right peace Hey, Happy New Year's, guys. Thanks for all the support I've gotten in 2015, and thanks for all the support for all the years to come. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. Go ahead and share on all your favorite social medias, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.